So how was the process and would you build with them again? They're the questions that I ask to someone who's recently built. From the seller's perspective here, it was an amazing experience and congratulations Deadline Projects. You've got yourself an ongoing customer. Let's go have a look because that sets the scene for what's inside. Okay, so immediately on entry, your eyes are drawn upwards. High ceilings, high doorways. Around to your right is the fifth bedroom slash study. Around to your left, theatre room, second living, just a nice chill out zone. I love the way that the house has been laid out. Down around to your left is the master. Good size again, plenty of storage, his and hers cupboards, through to the ensuite, tiled all the way up to the ceiling, it just feels luxe. Something that I look for is having a bedroom close enough to the master. Just in case you've got a small child, I think it's a nice touch. Main bathroom, again it's big, plenty of space for a, for a young family. Coming down the hallway now to what would be your second and third bed, separated again, they've both got walk-in robes, along with your fourth bedroom too. Coming out into the kitchen, the heart of the home, where it all comes together. Just take a look at the sheer size. Two-pack finishes, look at the wall ovens, and around into the butler's pantry. Yes, it's a proper butler's pantry with a sink. Let's go back out into the main living. It's all open plan. I think the important thing about the home is it's all separated, but yet it all connects as one. Just imagine spending your time here with your family. Okay, so internally the house was absolutely amazing, but the intricate details didn't stop there. Along with speakers, fans, heaters, this outdoor area certainly hasn't been undercooked. So with a flat usable block, an oversized shed that's been tricked out with all the bells and whistles, being only 15 minutes to the CBD, this one's a must inspect. Oh.